What is going on guys? It has been a long time since I've made a YouTube video. God damn, this feels bad weird. But you know, today I decided to pick up the camera and just make a video. So I have a lot to catch up with you guys. Um, today's a Saturday. I just woke up a couple hours ago, ate my first meal and I'll make myself a coffee. So let me show you guys this uh, espresso machine that I got. Well, my mom got it and she's the best. So it's all bougie ass espresso machine. Boom. All right. Oh, damn it. I just didn't throw it. Oh. Well, thanks, Mom. Anyway, so there's a lot of options here, which I think is pretty dope. Only thing I drink are Amer ice Americano. So how I make that? Espresso. Yep right there hold on let me just make this camera setting all right i'm gonna need two hands but technically i'm gonna take this and make it nice and tight so it looks like this right nice and firm and then i'm gonna get in there oh shit also need two hands for that and then let's press brew we got double puppy coming up and it takes about like 30 seconds because that's what I timed it as. So, I got this, right? This is where I put my coffee. Now, luckily, I have this Korean ass water filter. So I don't ever have to get water, which is great. But I'm gonna get some ice cubes in here. All right, so, I don't know. Ice is honestly random, depending on how I'm feeling that day. But key essentials for my coffee. I'll show you guys. How to make iced Americanos. Um, I know this is like so random, but I just want to show you guys how I make my coffee. So I have my uh, shot of espresso right here. I got my creamer. So this is nut pots, French vanilla. It's I. Right. It's I. Right. Nothing too crazy. I mean, 10 calories per 15 milliliters. So it's, you know, I'm in the off season now where I'm able to enjoy these things. This is the game changer right here. So if your supermarket doesn't have this, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. And then a packet of stevia, truvia, whatever. So, all right. So I'm just gonna put like half of this. Already started melting, and then one, two, two squirts. Go right in there, and then I'm just gonna measure out about 30, 30 G's. It's about 30. Got my water right here. Just a little bit more water. Bam. All right. Ooh. So, got my coffee right here. Put a cap on. Let's see how this tastes. Give it a little, nice little swirl swirl. I think this is actually Starbucks beans. I'm not quite sure. That's great. What's nice is that I make two shots, right? So I'm gonna make another one, but I still have more in this one. Right, so I still have more in here, and then I make myself another one. All right. Anyway, that's how I make my coffees in the morning, recently, ever since I got the espresso machine. But we have a lot to catch up on, a lot. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin, but pretty much, where where do we go back back to show day show day is july 16th and you know i uh definitely wanted to take like a couple weeks off even a couple months off just because i was so burnt out from youtube you know i was making a video every single week during prep i don't know how i did that i was a straight zombie soldier man um but that was you know i i, I told myself i was gonna do it and um you know i don't like doing things. I don't like saying things I'm going to do and not doing them. So I'm proud of that. But you know, I did take a little bit longer comeback video than expected because after 
the show, <laughs> I pretty much nailed the reverse, guys. Um, it was a very hard mental struggling time for me, especially when your appetite is you know through the roof and all you want to eat. You're so food focused. You're so freaking food focused. And yeah, um, I was like still shredded <laughs> like two months after, like a month or two after uh, my show, which is pretty nuts. And I'm glad I did that because, you know, um, my coach told me, nail your, nail your reverse rebound, whatever. And that wasn't really a rebound, uh, reverse so that you can have a very successful off season. And we did quite achieve that. Um, t what is, today's Jan January 5th, January 5th. Fifth, no six. Damn. Yeah, I've been in the off season for a couple months now, and you know I am 197.4 this morning. Um, but my last check-in I was 200.8. So um, yeah, it's, I feel like finally is where my weight is going to be. It's gonna be hard to push up from here. I feel like, but who knows? Because the most I've ever weighed in my life was like 204.8. Like probably. A lot a lot fatter but yeah so that's like that kind of sums it up that kind of sums it up pretty quick right but um, yeah I do want to apologize to the people that have been following um, probably like wondering where the hell I've been um, I just needed a break and just like pri my priorities have kind of shifted right so with my coaching and just like all these all these things I want to kind of devote my time into those things a little more because um, they had to, to kind of take a seat back, you know, uh, especially when I was in prep. So now that like I'm actually functioning and I actually feel like a normal person again and I'm fat and I'm happy. <laughs> Shout out Devin Effinger. We're gonna, we're gonna have a very successful, productive, growing season this year. So yeah, a couple of my folk goals this year, not like resolutions, but goals. Grow my online coaching business. Grow physically, get huge, <laughs> number two. Um, continue to build on the relationships I have with my close people, number three. Very important, you know. I'm glad I did the prep last year because you guys know, I practice a fuck ton of gratitude and I'm still doing that to this day. Maybe not as much, but in the back of my mind, I'm very mindful of it. Yeah, just have like a very solid year. Um, I'm proud of the year I had, but I know I can do way more. Um, so yeah, that kind of sums it up. But let me take you guys. That, was a, that wasn't too long of a spew. And one thing guys, I wanna be more raw in my videos. You guys know obviously Sam Solik, he's blown up, but not even because of that, because Editing is so much easier. Editing is so much easier. Um, I don't have to cut my likes, amps, and butts because you know I'm not the most smoothest speaker, especially you know when I'm filming my content. And yeah, so there's gonna be less edits. This is gonna be straight. If I stutter, you guys will see the real J Kim stuttering, saying ums and likes and ands. But anyway. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to shout out one of my clients. So this is Jasper. Um, so I like to, I love Saturdays because I have a lot of my most of my clients check in on Saturdays, and you know this is my day off from work, like going to personal training. I'm a personal trainer, so I don't go into work, but I'm you know doing work on my own time, right? So this is Jasper. He's got a pretty solid physique, All right? So he's a natty boy. Yeah, very decent build, but um, this kid, I don't know if I have the pictures, the before and after. Oh, maybe I do here. Yeah, guys, so this is this is his, uh, I believe this is his first check-in before we started together. Right there, right? And look at that. So this is, this is today, current. Um, this is like before he started working with me and um, as you guys can see like look at his delts his delts have definitely come up a lot and you know um, I think he's about like 
four, only four pounds lighter on the right. But yeah, shout out to Jasper. He's killing it. Um, he has plans to compete in classic and men's physique. I just told him to do men both just because. But you know, right now our focus is growing, you know, putting on some size. And just like, I, we don't have a show date in mind, but we just have to, you know, definitely be bigger because his weight's like 151. And, you know, if he's peeled, he's gonna be very, very, very late. <laughs> so he's been sending me training videos, uh, hasn't missed a check-in, doesn't go off plan. So these are the clients that I love working with because because like if you make a plan for someone and they don't follow it, it's like why then why are you hiring me? You know what I mean? So anyway, um, I'm gonna wait for the other check-ins to come in because I have a deadline of like what 10 or 11 or something like that. What else do I want to talk about since we're just going? Today I have on Saturdays I hit delts and arms. It's it's a pretty relatively short workout, but um, maybe I may I might be able to come uh, film some uh, clips because. I got my tripod screw in the mail and that's the reason why I haven't been filming because I can't bring my camera to the gym but yeah so I may film a clip or two but don't hold my word to that because I may be like yeah I don't want to film <laughs> um, and yeah so I will catch you guys a little bit later and um, today is my cheat meal free meal whatever you want to say and I'm gonna have it at home because uh, Mama Kimchi ditched me. <laughs> She's a busy woman. She has a meeting or something. So I was like, I right, no problem. I'm just gonna be a pig at home while it's on outside um, and just be watching Netflix. That's my Saturday night. But anyway, I'll catch you guys a little bit later. Maybe show you guys my pre-workout meal or you know some other shit. But yeah. All right, guys. <clears throat> pre-workout meal. I'm just gonna show you, cream of rice. And yeah, just gonna eat this right now. It's about 12 o'clock. Head over to the gym, get a juicy pump. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys already know the deal. Life as a bodybuilder. Eat, sleep, train, repeat. But look at that, looks fire. Well, anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this because this is my favorite meal of the day. Hey guys we are on the way to the gym um i am not going to film a lot in the gym today maybe get a clip or two for you guys um so, so stay. korean gum it's the best gum right here anyway mm, so good i'm gonna drive over Catch you guys at the gym. Anyway guys, so you guys are seeing me like a week or week and a half um, after the last clip you guys saw of my workout, which was last two weekends ago. So I'm just gonna wrap up the video here, honestly. Um, today's Tuesday. I actually just got blood work done. So you guys can see I got a little jammy in my vein right here. Blood work done. We got like two more weeks left of this push. What we're gonna do now moving forward, probably clean up for about two months um, and then 
drive up progress again. So I'm excited that I'm actually excited to, you know, get off a little bit rid of this fluff again. But um, just to wrap up this video, guys, um, I'm going to try to just stay a little bit more on top of my YouTube game because I've been so damn consistent. I'm just like, ah, it does irk me inside a little bit um, just to take that such a long of a break. But like I said, my priorities in life have shifted a little, so I don't regret it. Um, but I definitely do want to be a little bit more frequent on here. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up because YouTube does not like when you take long breaks. So I don't know how this video is going to do. But if you guys run it up, like, comment, whatever, it's going to tell the YouTube algorithm, hey, J. Kim is back and here to stay. So. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.